All right, guys, what's going on? I'll tell you one of the most asked questions that I get specifically from young anglers besides the YouTube deal about which camera and stuff like that. I get that a whole lot. But maybe the second most asked question I get, and I get it from all kinds of people, is what's the pathway for me to become a professional angler? How do I get there? What's the best route to take? What's the optimal approach so that I can achieve what I want to achieve and become a professional angler? Well, for one, I would say the optimal approach is whatever works for you. It has to be tailor-made. It can't. There is no optimal approach. Now, it seems like there is an easier approach, but it can't. Everybody's not going to, you know, go down the exact same path. And that's one thing that I always try to tell the younger anglers, you know, is never judge yourself based off of somebody else. If you're 18 years old and you say, well, this guy's already won all this at 19 years old. There's no way I can get there. I just need to give up and stuff like that. If you got that outlook, you're, you're doomed from the beginning. You can never compare your journey to somebody else's. There's some people who didn't become a pro angler until they're 50 years old and had a ton of success or 40 years old. And there's some people that come, you know, don't even go to college and come straight out the gate at 18 or 19 and they qualify and they make it. And there's some people that go through college, which is probably the easiest route now is to go through college, get some, you know, bigger level multi-day tournaments under your belt and then transition into the opens or I guess you'd say the FOW Toyota series but none of that matters once you get to the opens if you want to make it to the elite series where I am when you go to the opens you got your work cut out for you it's gonna be tough it's a stack playing field there's 225 boats in every single tournament and I believe this year they took three out of 225 boats so those odds are pretty difficult to manage you know like it's tough to navigate your way to the elites and whenever you're in the opens it doesn't matter where you came from what you've did before how old you are what kind of boat you have the truck you drive what state you came from country rods and reels none of that matters you have to come in the top three in points whenever i qualified there was less divisions and there was no overall points we had to come in the top five in points out of 225 so now they also have a a overall top three from all three circuits of the opens if you fish if you fish all nine opens and you're in the top three of the people that fished all nine you can also make it to the elites that way which i think that's the best route of getting to the elites is fishing all nine because then you're going to have a shot at coming in the top three in three different divisions and coming in the top three in the overall so that's the easiest that's your best chance of making it but as far as getting from where you are right now to there everybody's route's going to be a little differently they're going to be a little different some people want to go to college some people don't want to go to college some people want to you know work save the money when they retire then you take a shot at fishing you know the opens and the toyotas and stuff like that and that's great whatever works for you whatever makes you the most comfortable obviously the less responsibility that you put on yourself you know the best better opportunity you're going to have to focus you know all the way in on tournament fishing if you have a job that requires that you're making three hundred thousand dollars a year and it requires you to work 60 hours a week obviously you're not going to have time to fish the opens but for most people if you want to make it you have to put fishing as a priority at some point in your life so it has to be one of the most you know one of the things you're thinking about the most you're trying to do the most you're actively always trying to get better improve fish bigger tournaments learn more techniques always upgrading your equipment doing stuff like that that's one of the things that no matter where you've been or what you're trying to do you have to do that type of stuff and then when you get to the opens you'll be you know you put a lot of time in it's not your first time really trying to fish big tournaments it's not your first time you know being on the water multiple days in a row and understanding how the fish change day to day and throughout all the conditions and that's one thing that I hear people tell me whenever they don't get to fish a lot is they would practice last week and they came this week and the fish are completely different. Well, the fish are different day to day. So if you put a week in the middle, obviously it's going to be bigger changes than just even day to day. So you really have to get that time on the water where you're fishing consecutive days in the row. I'm talking about four, five, six days in a row. And I'm not talking about practice for a tournament, just on your own small little local lake fishing consecutive days in a row really gets you an understanding of how those fish move based on all the conditions and the conditions change and how much they will shut off. And then it'll help you become more efficient angler just by fishing all those times consecutively. So don't judge yourself on anybody else. Make sure what you're doing puts you one step closer to achieving your goal if your goal is to become a professional angler and stop worrying about sponsors. That's one of the best things that I can tell any young angler, stop worrying about sponsors. Because I probably get that question more than I get how to become a pro fisherman, is how do I get sponsors? 
all of these companies that are sponsoring people, they have somebody whose job is to find people who they want to sponsor. So if they want to sponsor you, they will contact you. That's just, that's just how it is. So don't worry about sponsors. Worry about working on yourself, improving, getting better, understanding the fish at a higher level, fish more diverse, different fisheries. If you always fish deep, clear bodies of water that have herring in them, maybe you need to go to the Tennessee River and punch grass in the fall. Maybe you go to the Tennessee River and fish ledges in June. You know, that, like that's the type of stuff that you have to do and you have to take the leap and you have to understand those fish on all the different bodies of water, all the different types of scenarios and stuff like that. You have to understand that before you're going to be able to effectively go to the opens and qualify to fish the Bass Master Elite. So that's what I wanted to break down to you guys. I get that question so much. Just a couple tips don't worry about sponsors at all 100% don't worry about it do everything you can to get better locally fish as much as you can on the most diverse bodies of water and don't judge yourself off other people and make your path your path figure out a way for you to get there and then do everything you can don't take no for an answer that's just kind of what I wanted to you know kind of show some of the younger guys i have a lot of younger people that watch my channel and even if you're not a younger guy you know and that's what you're kind of thinking about doing maybe you'd understand it as well so that's the path to become a professional angler hope you all enjoyed that one we're about to go fishing for a little while